is where Althea Bernstein says four white men yelled a racial slur at her before attacking her and setting her on fire with lighter fluid. Michael Johnson with the Boys and Girls Club says he can't think of a more obvious instance of a hate crime. And so she has burns to her face, burns to her neck. Johnson, speaking on behalf of the Bernstein family, says Althea is physically doing well today. I think, uh, her mom and her dad is concerned about you know, her mental uh, well-being and uh, um, the scars that's on her. Bernstein told Madison 365 Wednesday that the attack happened early Wednesday morning at around 1.00. She says she was at the intersection when four white men in floral shirts yelled the N-word, sprayed her with lighter fluid, and then threw a lit lighter at her. And here's a young lady who was minding her own business, and somebody decided and tried to set her on fire. And uh, it's, 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 it's unacceptable. Madison police say they are investigating this as a hate crime. Johnson says this is an escalation of racial tensions felt all across the country. If somebody tried to cause bodily harm to um, somebody because of the color of their skin. And, you know, um, all of these things that's happened across our country and right here in our backyard, it's just unacceptable. And where's the respect for humanity? I agree.